I've always wanted to do a road trip. So when my dad said a Tesla couldn't do the Wild Atlantic Way, I took that as a challenge to have the most incredible road trip ever. Donegal to Dingo, 1500 kilometers of Ireland's rugged west coast, the Wild Atlantic Way. So I grabbed my friends, loaded up the car, and set off on our Wild Atlantic adventure. We started on the shores of Loch Esk at Harvey's Point, where we fully charged the car and we were ready. Are you ready? Ready to go? Are you ready? Ready for more? Are you ready? Ready for me? We'd be driving the fully electric Tesla Model X, and with a range of 525 kilometers, it makes it the perfect car for our rural road trip. Stopped in the famous Shells Cafe where the Tesla turned some heads and we sampled some of the catch of the day. Muscles. Ah, good day, good day. Did you get your vegetarian burger with bacon or? After Dan Patrick Head, we drove to Ackle Island, where we charged at Gaelties, Europe's most westernly electric vehicle charging point. I'm a bit chilly. You turn up the heat. Don't worry about it, Dylan. I got you, my man. Oh yeah. <laughs> that night we decided to sleep in the car, and with no light pollution around, the sky was like nothing we'd ever seen before. Just heading off Ackle now. Uh, it's been great. Didn't get much sleep last night, but it was definitely worth it to catch that sunrise. We're just heading back to the mainland, and we should have a, a great day. After Dylan was finished fiddling with the map, we decided to kick it up a notch. After changing for the occasion, we arrived at Ireland's most opulent charging point, Ashford Castle. What a fantastic day we had, ready for another day of adventures. Then my sister Isabel arrived, but she wasn't a big hit with the locals.
Then we made our way to our next charging destination, set in the heart of Connemara, Ballinhage Castle. After spending the night in Ballinahinch, we then went to explore more of Ireland's spectacular natural beauty. So we're here in Connemara, and Ireland's decided to be Ireland. It's raining. We're traveling. Ireland. It's too happy. It's we're annoying. Ireland, baby. <laughs> Pizza and dough bros. So Zara lives there. I live in Cork. So we're not going there. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> then we had some fun exploring the bird, Ireland's famous karst landscape. Next, we'd be spending the evening in another one of Ireland's legendary castles, Drummolan Castle. Finally, let Dylan have a go at driving the car. We also decided to name the car Layla. Because it's a cool name. We are at the gap of the low, it's still raining, but we're looking forward to it. Culture! Ah! Behold, a relic from the past. Silly petrol station. <laughs> it's our last day. We're just Yay. leaving Killarney, going I'm to Dingle. I'm seeing how far back Woo. the seats can go. We're just about to arrive in Dingle, uh, the end point of our road trip, and it's very exciting because the sun is just about to set. I'm gonna ring my dad to tell him we made it. Ring dad. Hi, Conrad. Hey, dad. We made it to Dingle. Well done. I've probably got to eat the hat or something there. Having made it 1,500 kilometers on Ireland's most remote and rugged roads, I think we really have proven that an electric car can do everything a conventional car can.